Okay, this is a quick tutorial on what we call the TA teacher timetable. This is the script for how we prepare for the class each day and how the timing goals and the handoff of responsibilities between people to manage the classroom. So this has been created and distributed as a spreadsheet. And I'm now going to go through exactly what you should be looking for on that spreadsheet in order to make it work. So we're going to talk about what the timetable is, the different roles and responsibilities, and then we're going to walk through the timing. So we have another session about student management where we talked about the control spreadsheet and how that's filled in, and now we're going to look at the timing of how these all fit together. So the timetable is a clear script for who does what and when in order to make sure that the class comes off smoothly. It lays out the responsibilities and coordinates the efforts of different people and it helps people adjust their timing and expectation. The entire support staff has one job to protect the students and the teacher from distraction so that they can focus on teaching. When you're in a live classroom, it's easy for people to focus on each other. But in the online environment, that's very difficult. And so all of this is about removing barriers so that students and teachers can focus on the material and each other. So the roles are the teacher, the MCTA, who we call the Master Ceremonies Teach Teacher's Aid, or the Ringmaster. This role is primary to lead the timekeeper and the coordinator. We then have the technical TA, and that's the person to manage technical issues. And the social TA who interviews students, provides feedback, keeps track of grades, and overall quality experience from the student's point of view. So who does what? The MCTA starts things off, runs the timing. They check things, they run things, they keep things moving. They're the timekeepers. They make decisions about how to handle problems. The MCTA is the central point of coordination for the class. The technical TA takes attendance every hour, makes sure and checks in with every student every hour. They take people out to randomly check their cameras and audio. They identify people that are missing in action and put them in a penalty box. And they resolve technical issues. The social TAs help taking attendance. They take people out randomly and check on their status and get their feedback. They interview people and they get involved with grading and tracking of students. The teacher is there to teach and answer questions and encourage dialogue with the students. So the technical spreadsheet starts with 45 minutes before. The technical TA starts the machines in the office and makes sure that they're running successfully. We have a specific checklist for that. The technical TA then starts the Adobe Connect session and makes sure that everybody's logged in with the correct um, privileges. The technical TA then calls the teacher and does the teacher's checklist, make sure the teacher's equipment is set up. And then the technical TA calls in all of the other TAs and makes sure that they're set up. At this time, the MCTA starts the main Skype chat room and makes sure that everybody is communicating, everybody's checked in. 45 minutes before, the social TA should pull up all the test grades, all the quizzes from the previous days, and upgrade the smart sheet with the grades for the students. The technical TA should hide and restack all the slides in the layout for the day. In other words, they're making sure that everything's loaded so the class is going to come off without a hitch. The social TA updates the smart sheet, saves all the updated information so that we're ready to start the class. That should happen between 45 minutes before and 30 minutes before. At 30 minutes before, the MC verifies that all the TAs are ready and checked in and ready to work, verifies that all the social updates have been added to the spreadsheet, they verify that all the technical checklists have been done, they also verify, notify um, everybody on the team of any news about what's coming up, the social TA will report to everyone any feedback about what they thought about the class in the previous day. Sometime between 45 minutes and the beginning of the class, the social TA, I mean the MC, will switch to breakout mode. 
So when we're in a breakout mode, we're ready to take on a large number of students and put them in the breakout rooms to handle their technical problems. So when this happens, the MC will open 10 breakout rooms, and we have assignments for those breakout rooms, which we've talked about in the other video. Each of the TAs goes to their breakout room and is now prepared to handle students coming in. And everybody checks with the smart sheet and updates the smart sheet as they're moving forward. Between 30 minutes before until 5 minutes before, students will randomly enter the room. The MC will greet the student and ask them to check their camera and audio. If the camera and audio are good, the MC will update the smart sheet and they'll be left alone. If the student has problems, the student will be turned over to a technical TA. So the MC will chat with the technical TA and ask him to take the student and the student will be pulled into that technical TA's breakout room where the technical TA will help them to resolve their problems. If a student has not been to a meet and greet, they will automatically be sent to a technical TA for the whole meet and greet sequence. So the, if, the pro, if the student has been through the meet and greet but is having technical problems, they too will be referred to the technical TA. The problem is students put through the checks and resolve or told to come back or help to figure out how they can get into the room. When they're resolved, the TA will put them back into the main room and update the smart sheet with their information. If they're not resolved, that fact is also updated to the smart sheet. If the student has not gone through a meet and greet, they will put, be put through the sequence with the technical TA. Now, if the student has gone through the meet and greet and their speed and camera are good, they will be asked by the MC if they would like to be interviewed by Otilia, in which case they'll put He'll be handed over to the social TA where they will be asked the getting to know you questions. So the getting to know you questions are something we typically do in the live class. We ask people to tell us their name, their background, their history in telecoms, their major issues and concerns, and why they want to take this training. Otilia will record that information, and that will be harvested and put onto the portal page. Otilia and the technical TAs and the MCTA should also be using um, the snipping tool to take a picture of the student, pass it to Gabby so that it can be put onto the portal. At start time, the MC will check with the teacher and the TAs to make sure everybody's ready. They will then turn off breakout room mode and the room will switch to layout room mode. The MC will, MC will change from normal mode to the teaching layout. And the MC will introduce the teacher, introduce the day, talk about any issues or test results, kind of chat up the students for a few minutes, and then turn it over to the teacher, present the teacher. The teacher will introduce herself and start teaching the class. After about five minutes, after the teacher has started teaching, the MC will put the room back into breakout mode so that the technical TAs and social TA can then pick up where they left off in resolving the students. Anytime during the lecture or anytime during the break that students report technical issues, they should be referred to a technical TA and put into the breakout room. So the student will be turned over to the technical, T, technical TA and if it's resolved, it's updated on the smart sheet. If not, that's also updated on the smart sheet. So that's exactly the same sequence as before the class, but we're assuming that we won't catch everybody before the class, so we're going to have to do this during the class, hopefully during the first hour. Okay, five minutes before the break, the MC will check with the teacher and TAs to get them ready for the break. They will then clear the people out of the breakout rooms. The MC will change to normal mode, change the layout to the next session, hide the banners and other rotators so that the next session's material is showing, set the timer for the break, and then change it back to breakout mode. When the break ends, the MC will check with the teacher and TA to get everybody ready, and turn the normal mode back on, introduce the teacher, and start the next session. So hopefully combining this information with the 
uh, demonstration in the other video, you have a good idea of how we want everybody to work together on these sessions.